personally after him, and he said in his letters that he didn't have any time for women. They were a distraction, and it, it interfered with his work and, and his money, and he didn't want to have anything to do with them. So he went back to the laboratory. Like <laughs> I believe something like that, too, in an, in an interview or something. He told him, I just don't care for women. I'm too busy or something. Just brushed it off, you know, like, women who? And uh, they said he did it with an air of elegance and confidence, but you knew that he was just trying to make everything more mysterious because he didn't have much of a life really outside of his work. Well, he, he certainly devoted a lot of time and accomplished a lot, and, and maybe that was a blessing to us today. We have AC uh, current. Uh, if, if there had been women in his life, we may not have lights in our rooms. Now. <laughs> you know, who knows? Right. Right. He, uh, he worked for uh, Edison for a while and uh, had disagreements with Edison. I, I think um, Edison made the money and Tesla didn't. Or, um, did you read about, uh, Joe, the Wardenclyffe Tower? Um, up in, um, where was it, New Jersey. It was financed by J.P. Morgan. And, uh, yeah, uh, I, I briefly touched it, but um, if you could tell the listeners a little bit about it, that would be good. Well, he, uh, he put up this huge wooden tower. It was really an impressive thing in a, a big brick building next to it. And he was going along with his experiments of free energy and transmitting electricity uh, uh, remotely uh, through the air. And he was really making some pioneering strides. And all of a sudden, um, his uh, money stopped. J.P. Morgan pulled all of his financing, took it away from him, uh, in fear that uh, that Tesla would would uh, succeed and develop uh, systems and weapon systems. Uh, I'm sure there were a lot of people that didn't want him to succeed, that it would interfere with the energy and the profits made with electrical and and coal and, and some of the other generating devices of the time. Uh, so they stopped him. They they just stopped him. Um, but uh, Tesla was originally out of Yugoslavia. Is there still a Yugoslavia? I'm not sure if there is or not. They may have changed the I'm name sure on it. Either. No, yeah, there is. There's still a Yugoslavia. Is there? Well, it's, yeah, it's changed names a couple of times, but it's back to Yugoslavia now. Well, uh, I find very few uh, people know about Tesla. He was he was the genius. He was the number one person in in electrical electrical engineering. Uh, Tom Bearden uh, starts and and concludes all of his correspondence with um, outlining and and underscoring the fact that he thinks all of the electrical engineering textbooks are wrong in their in their concepts in their rules. The electrical engineering rules are wrong. They uh, they don't go to energy in a vacuum, and they uh, they contradict uh, what uh, what Scalar is all about in the textbooks. Right. I mean, if you think about it, we we kind of based our whole world on uh, a fossil fuel mentality, yeah. and and what would that do to the economy? Um, not that well. Let me say this: What would it do to the oil companies, uh, and uh, you know, coals? Uh, all these people would be out of work, and everything else. It would be, uh, you know, cats sleeping with dogs. It'd be the the world would be turned upside down because all of a sudden, energy abounds. There's no energy crisis. Of course, these oil companies don't want us to get that technology, among other people. Um, and and to be quite honest with you. It, it scares me to know that the type of weapon that these, um, these, these the scalar technology can create and, and that humans have come around to create, um, I just don't know where, where we go from here. I mean, I, I take a look at this, and this is, this is just me. I mean, you take a look at some of the things that Monsanto is doing with gene splicing and, and, you know, I think I, the other day I saw a, a tree trunk with a beak on it, you know. And I just, said, the pig, so, I just you couldn't know. believe it. And then you see the, 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 the scalar weapons, and you, have, and you see the Gulf of Mexico, and the sun's heating up, and you just know. <laughs> you just know that this is not a good time to be in, you know. And that's, that's where I am now is, is, is that, you know, while, while we can prepare, 
what are we preparing for? You know, so it's, how, it, it's all collapsing. It will collapse. The dollar is collapsing. Uh, you cannot sustain the the numbers the, uh, with a bogus system. Uh, I don't think it's necessary for the world economy to collapse since all of the currencies are not backed by anything. Right. Why couldn't you take a pencil and make all of it good and start all over again? Right, you kind could. of erase it. You could do that. But they choose to let millions of people die. But isn't that the goal? Apparently. Well, they want the power. They want the, they've got to get something out, the thrill out of the power, though, of, of seeing it happen, of, uh, of watching us and knowing that they can squish us at any minute. You know, that's, that's a terrifying thought. Yeah, well, I, I, look, I think the majority of them are probably bored. You know, so we're we're something interesting for them to take a look at and see what happens when they put this into play and put that into play. And I mean, that's what it almost seems like. It seems like we're being teased and toyed with by a bunch of sociopaths. And actually, if you think about a chemtrails, what has that done to people's uh, minds and how they think and um, just things in general, like the murder rate and and the crime or my rate. or my the blood crime. pressure. That too, yeah. That's gone blood, the blood pressures you know, are up I mean, all over the country. Right. Uh, people, yeah. people are having blood pressure problems and taking more and more medication to, to uh, bring it down. Uh, you might be able to mm -hmm. detox with a serious de detox program to get uh, to flush all of the heavy metals out of your body. Uh, the aluminum and, and the barium are off the end of the scale. I've had two meetings with uh, EPA here in Richmond, DEQ, the Department of Environmental Quality, is the local EPA. And both times have been uh, a real experience. I was told that they have been told to leave it alone. The government told them not to look at the aerosol spring. Huh. And the second meeting I had in the conference room at the big mahogany table, I found out that the supervisor over that knew that they were spring. He knew it. And I was sitting in there explaining to him how it was working. He indicated that he knew it. Okay, then what do we do? We, we don't do anything. There is no one to go to. There, there is no one to go to and enforce. It's very much like Arizona. You, you go to Washington and say they're breaking the law. Uh, illegals are bringing guns and drugs in, and I want you to do something about it. And they say no. Well, what do you do? Well, it's nothing left. It's up to the people from, from a point, um, uh, we're fast approaching a point where the people either will die or be slaves or they will stand up like what happened in the Revolutionary War or the Civil War. They will, they will take up arms and, and look after their families and themselves. My motto today is every bit of attention should be focused on yourself and your family to survive. That's right. Uh, this, this other stuff is interesting. It's entertainment. It's interesting to know, but it's not going to help you. Once you realize that your your life and your family are in terrible danger of dying, uh, then then do something about it. Stock food, stock um, everything, stock toilet paper, you know, um, and, and all that. It, it will benefit you and your family. It will help you survive. One of the one of the things, Griff, that that we started uh, the Freedom Link Radio for it, it wasn't to be popular. It's not to uh, to um, make money or anything like that. We don't even do sponsors. And the real reason why we started Freedom Link Radio was because of the networking. It's because we know at this point in time there there isn't a lot of time left to do that. As a matter of fact, the masses are too far gone now to be swayed, and we understand that. But it's the networking of individuals and, and uh, you know, forming these little close-knit communities or these close-knit contacts that you have where you can bounce things off of one another and kind of, uh, you know, exchange intel as far as what you have, what's going on in that area, uh, and things like that. So that's why we started Freedom Link. But you're absolutely right. The, 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 main, the main focus... The main focus of this is going to be your family, your close, uh, your people close to you. That's going to be the stuff because 
you're talking about something in an, an enemy 